Is Cardano's native token called ADA reaching the price of $10 as crazy as what some people may think? And what do I mean by that, right? Some people, they may think that, oh, wow, ADA at the price of $10. Are you crazy, man? Are you talking about the craziness level of Snoop Dogg's hairline, which is all the way back here? You know, his cornrows are hanging on for dear life. Snoop Dogg, you got to shave those cornrows. Some people may think that, you know, $10 for ADA, that's ridiculous. But why is it ridiculous? Think about this, right? If ADA were to, let's say, and go to the price of $10, considering its current circulating supply, at that point, it would have a market cap of around $350 billion. Now, to some people, they may think that, wow, are you crazy? Are you kidding me, man? $350 billion? You know, that's so unrealistic. But here's the thing. A fundamentally inferior layer one blockchain, in my opinion, in the case of Ethereum, actually exceeded this market cap by over $200 billion. And that's not a joke. Back in 2021, Ethereum's all-time high market cap was over $550 billion. I mean, think about that, right? And Ethereum, in my opinion, it's pretty much a Kaka layer one blockchain. Let's face it, right? And no, I'm not talking about Kaka, the soccer player. He was a good soccer player. I'm talking about the Kaka that actually stinks, the number two Kaka, if you know what I mean. Because when you take a look at Ethereum, it's pretty much a dinosaur. It's like a Nokia phone from the 90s, in my opinion. Because think about this. A lot of people, they often argue that Ethereum, it's not even really that scalable. Even its very own co-founder, right? Charles Hoskinson, who predicts that Ethereum may take a couple more years to become scalable. And of course, Charles Hoskinson is also the founder of Cardano. So he's the real deal. So his opinion matters a lot. At least that's the way I view it. And also, Ethereum, carayo, poha. Gas fees, I mean, are you kidding me? It's insane, it's ridiculous. But when you take a look at Cardano, does it have any of these issues, right? I think not. So you got to think about it, right? Who's a better layer one blockchain? Is it Ethereum or is it Cardano? I think hands down, it's Cardano. And also you got to ask yourself this question, which layer one blockchain has better potential to be adopted by enterprises moving forward? I think hands down it's Cardano because why would an enterprise, right? choose a layer one blockchain that has all of the issues that i just mentioned before why would they do that of course they're going to choose something that's a lot better in my opinion in the case of cardano and enterprise adoption it matters a lot because yeah sure the retail market it can provide amazing gains but enterprise adoption it can provide fantastic gains and as we all know fantastic it's a much stronger word than amazing and think about this if we take a look at it historically speaking what fostered, for example, the growth of the internet? Was it the retail market or was it the enterprise market? Hands down, it was the enterprise market because enterprises, they have the capital, they have the volume, and they have the resources to facilitate growth at such an insane scale. So when it comes to Cardano, man, it being, you know, in a sense, ready for enterprise adoption, I think it's going to really prime itself for such an amazing future. I really do believe the sky's the limit. So when people think that ADA at the price of $10, it's ridiculous, it's insane, I don't think so. You know, I think at that point, the market cap it would have is actually not all that insane. I think it's very realistic, especially when we consider it, or when I say compare it, excuse me, to something as Ethereum, which in my opinion is a lot worse than Cardano. Why not, right? ADA at the price of $10, I don't think it's ridiculous whatsoever, especially when I consider just how incredible this bull run could be. Because according to Crypto.com research, as we speak, right? There's around 575 million crypto owners. You know, that's more people than ever before in history owning cryptocurrencies. Now, you take a look at the 2021 bull run. Was it amazing? Absolutely. But at that time, only around 300 million crypto owners. Now, nearly double that amount. So, carayo, poha. Imagine it, right? The 2021 bull run was already that insane. Now, with this many new crypto owners, this bull run, it's going to look legendary in my opinion. So when I consider how strong the community is of Cardano, when I consider how passionate they are, how much they believe in Cardano, right? When I consider just how special Cardano is, and I combine that with the fact that this boron really could be legendary, why is ADA at the price of $10 insane? I don't think so. And of course, it's not going to happen overnight. It's not going to happen, you know, in a couple days. That's not the case whatsoever, because usually this takes time. Why is that? It's because... I believe that we're right now not at the peak of the bull run yet. Because think about this, right? Altcoins, they usually reach their peak, historically speaking at least, anywhere between 6 to 12 months after a Bitcoin halving event. And we're not even at the Bitcoin halving event yet, right? 
the Bitcoin halving event is anticipated to happen sometime around April. So again, historically speaking, we haven't really seen anything yet. Yeah, sure, we've seen many cryptocurrencies have a decent pump, but man, I think that if anything is just a small taste of what's to come. And historically speaking, usually Bitcoin does pump first. And historically speaking as well, the smart people, right? At least the smart ones, again, they take profits, they flow it into altcoins. And then that's when the altcoin season really kicks in because they want gains again. They start flowing into altcoins, altcoins start rallying. And again, historically speaking, that's when the altcoin season truly kicks in. So I think what we're seeing right now is just a very small taste. I think ADA really, it already does have a relatively high market cap. But I think that the best days are still ahead because I think ADA at the price of $10, I don't think it's unrealistic whatsoever. I think that this bull run could be insane. I think that Cardano is a very amazing layer one blockchain. It's just a matter of time. I think hashtag patience is what a lot of people should be thinking. And of course, that's all financial advice. But great things take time and patience, right? The Eiffel Tower, it wasn't built in a day. So when I believe in ADA, what do I do? I dollar cost average. I acquire. I hold. And I just wait for the peak of the altcoin season. That's it. A lot of people out there, they make a video on Cardano, but then all they do, right? They pull up a chart on ADA. They draw a random triangle. I don't know if they're trying to draw their grandma's G-string thong or Lee the captain. And yeah, you heard that, right? Lee the captain edition brought worse extender. And they say, or should I say scream at the top of their lungs? They say, oh, you got a short, you got a long, you got to use leverage. You got to do all of this type of stuff, right? It's like, are you kidding me, man? A lot of friends that I know that day trade, they get absolutely wrecked. They get cooked. Why overcomplicate things? If I see a project that's amazing, if I see a project that's fantastic, I like to keep things simple. And how do I keep it simple? I dollar cost average. I just acquire, I hold, and I just wait for the peak of the bull run. That's it. No fancy trading, no using leverage. I mean, that's complete nonsense, man. And of course, that's not financial advice. But again, I'm extremely bullish on ADA. I wouldn't be surprised whatsoever if ADA during the peak of this bull run did go to the price of $10 and during the process make all of those Cardano critics or should I say haters come running over to their girlfriend's boyfriend's grandma and start begging for a Taylor Swift edition brought or extender slash ding dong or lingerie set. Who knows, right? Lee the captain edition G string. It's going to be a little bit embarrassing if you ask me, but hey, I'm a very big fan of Cardano. I think it's fantastic. And make sure to subscribe if you gain value from this video. I greatly appreciate it. And also on top of that, make sure to check out this very fantastic video. I think you all would really love it. It's Malie the Captain. And I'll catch you all on the next one. I'm out. Peace. Bye.